This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 773. How to Look Like Brad Pitt in Troy, part one, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com, and I'm your host and narrator, Dr. Neil. Happy Wednesday and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I read some of the best health and fitness blogs to you, usually with a little bit of my commentary at the end. Now today's post is a bit on the longer side, so I'll read the first half today and then finish it up for you tomorrow. And it's the middle of the week, and for those of us in the U.S., I know our 4th of July Independence Day celebration is coming. You might be counting down the days or the hours or minutes to that point, so we might need a little bit of inspiration or a little boost to get us there. So here we go. Quote, Courage does not always roar. Sometimes it is a quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Marianne Rodmacher. Now, speaking of trying again, If you've sent me a question and I haven't answered it yet, you can always send me another question, but I promise I do listen to everything and I promise I will get around to answering your question. And I do that every Friday. You can send one in at oldpodcast.com. And if you do, first of all, you make me super happy because I love listening to and answering your question. But second of all, you'll be entered into small special raffles to win books from us. But for now, let's hear how we can look like Brad Pitt from the movie Troy and start optimizing your life. How to Look Like Brad Pitt in Troy, Part 1, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. A few years back, you went to the movie theaters expecting to see the next epic, the next gladiator, the next outlet for your macho, kick behavior. Instead, you got Troy, and you probably fell asleep during the boring middle parts. And then you got mad because they made both sides seem like the good guys, and you already knew how it was going to end, and yet you hoped it wouldn't be that bad, but it was. The only thing worth watching again was that first scene where Achilles takes down the giant with one stab of his sword, which is freaking awesome. So let's say you decided you want to look like Achilles, and you're ready to hit the weights just like Brad did. Before you Google Brad Pitt Troy workout, know that everything you'll find is either misleading or incorrect information. I'm sure one or more of the routines I found is the correct one, but honestly, I don't like any of them. You'll find routines that focus exclusively on the upper body and completely ignores the lower body, a great way to look top-heavy and ridiculous. Secondly, you're looking at a guy who had seven months to train for this role and had a personal trainer, a strength coach, a stretching coach, a massage therapist, a yoga coach, and on and on. So rather than give you a routine that won't work for most of you, I'd rather amend the listed routines and provide you with a better, healthier, safer routine that will still have you looking like you're the best fighter in Greek history. Brad went from approximately 160 pounds in Fight Club to 185 pounds in Troy, which means he had some serious muscle to build and some serious weight to gain. As a thin guy with a very low body fat percentage, Brad's metabolism most likely operated faster than the speed of light. In order to put on at least 20 pounds of muscle, he needed to break his pre-movie routine into two phases, commonly known as a bulk and cut routine. Exercise. When you're very thin and looking to put on muscle mass, you'll need to eat more than you're currently eating, lift heavy weights, and keep your basic cardio to a minimum. Now, as you're gaining muscle mass, you'll also be gaining a little fat. It's inevitable. It's okay, though. That's why this is called the bulk phase. What you'll want to do is concentrate on compound exercises, moves like the bench press, pull-ups, deadlifts, and squats to promote growth throughout your whole body. Although Brad only concentrated on his upper body, you're going to need to do deadlifts and squats too. These exercises will pump up your legs and your back, which happen to be the two parts of your body where you can gain the most weight the fastest. To get the most out of these exercises, you should concentrate on completing between 6 and 12 reps with each set for each exercise, often training to absolute failure. Absolute failure equals by the time you're on your final rep of your last set for that exercise, it should feel like that's the last possible thing you could lift. Heavy weights, lots of compound exercises, and minimal cardio. Cardio will take away from your weight gain. Instead, I'd recommend working your cardio into your routine by minimizing the amount of time in between sets, waiting no more than a minute before starting up again. Personally, I like training the whole body when I'm in the gym, and I imagine that's how the warriors of old would have trained as well, not concentrating on sculpting their triceps, but rather concentrating on lifting heavy weights and getting ready to kill people. 
Once Brad reached the correct amount of weight and strength he desired, he flipped a switch and spent three months working on cutting the fat off his body, hence the cut phase of the routine, leaving nothing except muscle on his body. You might think this is where you give up the weight training and just start running everywhere. Wrong. If you do that, you'll quickly lose all the muscle you just gained because it takes your body six months to get used to its new weight and will quickly revert back to its old size if you stop. To keep your weight and cut your body fat, continue training with weights, but incorporate more cardio and sprints into the routine to shed the excess weight. Diet. Hear that on tomorrow's episode. You just listened to part one of the post titled How to Look Like Brad Pitt in Troy by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. There are two things I am so glad that Steve mentioned. When I first saw the title of this blog post, How to Look Like Brad Pitt in Troy, I was like, oh no, I hated that movie. It was so awful. I hope Steve's not gonna talk about how good he thought it was. That's gonna be hard for me to read. Oh, thank goodness he started off by saying how bad that movie was. Completely agree. Second, I love that he mentioned that, oh, by the way, Brad Pitt trained for at least seven months to prepare, probably spent hours in the gym every day because that's what he was getting paid to do, had certified trainers, certified coaches, massage therapists, everything under the sun to help him succeed. He probably had his meals prepared for him as well, And so when you take all of that into account, you're getting paid to do something, you're getting paid to look a certain way, you're in the gym with a trainer for hours on end, day in and day out, yeah, you're gonna look good at the end of seven months. Most of us don't have that kind of time. Many of us don't have those kinds of resources available to us. And so if you decide to follow this plan, just know that you will probably still look differently than Brad Pitt. First of all, genetics, of course, that plays a role. But second of all, You won't be able to dedicate necessarily seven to eight hours a day for seven months to look this way. But that doesn't mean you won't get results. It just may mean you may not look exactly like Brad Pitt. So I just wanted to make sure I keep some of those expectations in check. All right, that does it for today. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. I'll see you back here for tomorrow's show where we'll finish up this post and where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, And together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.